Welcome back to the Teach Me CQL series. This series is presented by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. It is intended to support healthcare quality leaders, health IT vendors, and measure developers understand the use of clinical quality language, or CQL. Today's video short will focus on age calculation. Most of us would rather not talk about how old we are, but for eCQMs, calculating age is critically important as most measures have an age component to either their initial population or their denominator statements. We will use CMS 122, diabetes hemoglobin A1C poor control as an example for today. We will show versions 10 and version 11 to show how the initial population retrieves the patient birth date in each version. Let's review the initial population statement now. The patients age 18 to 75 years of age with diabetes with a visit during the measurement period. At a high level, the measure versions differ based on the CQL functions used to determine the patient's age at a specific point in time. Version 11 uses the CQL age and years at function to directly reference birth date time for the patient in context. Version 10 queried patient characteristic birth date to gather the birth date time, which is then applied as the first attribute in the global calendar age in years at function. The second input attribute references the start of the measurement period. The function returns that patient's age in years as an integer. That integer is then compared to the interval 18 to 75 to see if it falls inside of it. As a side note, due to the open upper boundary indicated by closing parentheses, the end of the interval is actually 74. More on that during our next video short. In contrast, version 11 uses the CQL function age in years at to gather the birth date time of the patient in context during the specific query. We see the initial population statement here. The CQL function age in years at uses the age at operator to calculate the age of the patient as of the given date and in the precision named in the operator. The age at operators are defined in terms of a date time duration calculation. This means that if the age of the patient or the given as of value are not specified to the same level of precision, there will be uncertainty over the range of possible values causing comparisons to return null. This is overcome by using the date from end of measurement period at the beginning of the statement. The age at operators are shorthand for the equivalence calculate age in years at operator we have seen in the past, passing the birth date from the patient context. This change provides an advantage over the previous method. The birth date for the patient is captured at the time of age calculation, providing for slightly faster and more accurate calculations. You now have a better understanding of the age calculation changes across version 10 and version 11 eCQMs. Tune into our next installment where we discuss the significance of open and closed parentheses in intervals.